Hello again. Welcome to Random Game Review, the, the show where I review a random game that's been in my collection for a long or little amount of time. Today, we take a look at an old favorite of mine, Bionicles Heroes, specifically for PC, and it's probably the same on console. Bionicles Heroes is a third-person shooter, kind of a shooter. It's like a sci-fi shooter. It's like your guy's holding a sword, but he shoots stuff out of it. And it takes place in the Lego Bionicles universe, which sounds bad, but it when I'm basing it based solely on the game, it's actually quite good, especially from coming from a toy line, especially from Lego. It's got a lot of lighthearted gimmicks in it, and it's quite actually quite fun with a decent amount of content and collectibles. It takes place on the island of Oyanui, where you have to free the six um, parts of the island. So you got your jungle, your fire, your water, your ice, your earth, your ground and there's a difference and then your final boss which spoiler there is a final boss like a actual last boss in the game not like a boss yeah kind of a boss where he kind of comes out of nowhere it's like this opens up go kill him which is actually pretty cool and it's actually the story isn't a whole lot of it it's just uh, as you can see here, where you're watching like the introduction to the game, what happens when you load the game up. The guy's basically saying, just kill him, kill out, kill the bad guy, kill the paraka, and that's what the bosses are at the end of every world. Just kill them, and you're good. So, basically on the, as you can see, it's a third person shooter, and you get six, six characters to choose from. The equivalent to every world is one character. See, the guy's holding like a sword thing, but he's just shooting. Which, you don't start out that overpowered, which is two shots every enemy. enemy. You start out like very, very weak, and you have to upgrade stuff. Which, upgrading in games is my favorite thing. You do not know. If it's got a decent upgrade system, but the gameplay is crap, well, I'll just play it, because I love the upgrade. It is pretty decent um, for a LEGO game, like I've said. It's got, you've got five hearts of health, you've got multiple characters, which all have full health. Like, you don't just have three hearts for every character. You have three hearts with this guy, and then five hearts with this guy, so it's, yeah, it's really hard to die. I've never, I don't think I've ever actually died in it, which, it makes it sound easy, but it's fun. But the boss can wipe you out. Or, or just take so long that you just give up. Um, as you can see, it is kind of... Like, it's got the bo Lego pieces places, but then it's got, like, a cheesy world in it. And so it, every, to every Toa has a different ability. So this guy's got ability to build stuff. The fire guy can, like, walk on fire. The water guy gr guy can walk on water. The air guy can, like, I think he can jump really high. The ice guy is my favorite. He, like, you trigger his special body, and it's like a sniper. He zooms in, and it's called boom. Boom, boom. He's like my favorite character. Like no scoping. Oh, so good. Cod should take a lesson. <laughs> and then there's like this guy's black guy. That sounds racist. He shoots grenades, and they're just like overpowered because of if you upgrade them, they get sticky grenades, and they just like stick to you to the enemy. And the enemy's like, uh, 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 boom, which sounds really, really bad again. But they're like spiders and like thingies, monsters. So it's okay. It's okay to kill spiders and monsters. But overall, this is um, a good game. I would actually recommend it thoroughly. It is not like a fully retailed game. Like, you couldn't find this on Steam. Probably couldn't find it at all, probably. I also played the DS version thoroughly, which is terrible. It's a first-person shooter. Oh, yes, and that bar at the top, once you've collected enough money... Your character turns gold, and it doesn't matter what character you are, because they all have the same ability, the gold ability. And, yeah, it's it's kind of a neat idea. Like, when you're in this gold mode, you're freaking invincible, and everything one-shots. And, um, and if it, something touches you, like it hits your feet, it just doesn't do anything. And then, as well as the music in the background is amazing. It's like this badass music that just makes you think, like, I am the coolest guy in the world. It's just this badass music. But at, at the end of every hero mode, you have to build one of these gold monster golem things that you have to do to progress in the story. 
which seems like it should be a hassle, but when you've got that badass music playing, and you're just, like, pumped, and you're invincible, and you're just, like, one-shotting everything, it's an okay game mechanic. Overall, I give it an 8 out of 10. And I stand by that choice, because some people would say, well, it's a Lego game. Well, it's a cartoony game. It's based off a kid's toy. But it's actually very well and very well though. I've not come across any bugs at all in this game. It's got a mini map even. Like what game Well some games don't have mini maps, which I don't like, but that's a different topic. Anyway, tune in in two days, so that's Thursday, for my new series, Level One, where I play the first level of the game to the first level with you, I played the first level of whatever game I reviewed in Random Game Review. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and have a nice day.